guys welcome to pendant history hope you are doing good i am dr ashwarya with you for easy learning and better understanding if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go and subscribe to my channel and learn the dentistry in a easy manner we are going to learn about venn diagram by ackerman profit classification today our topic is ackerman's profit classification ackerman profit classification he has given the classification on the basis of the five groups ackerman and profit classification he has proposed this classification in 1960 okay to overcome the limitations of the angle classification why he has classified this in his own way because there was a limitations in the angle classification so that to overcome that limitations he had given the venn diagram this diagram is very easy first he has said about the alignment then profile this you know this alignment and profile you know very well you have seen the many of the patient and in the third three circles there will be tsv written tsv transverse sagittal and vertical in transverse sagittal and vertical this classification you have you have read the angles and the bite even you know the bite and there is the presence of transverse which type of transverse malocclusion occur this also you know very well in your further reading chapters so the third one is transverse sagittal and vertical so if you are going to meet both like this so you are going to able to write the center one and and at the whole of the center there is a present of tsv just remember tsv then you are going to learn, remember the transverse sagittal and vertical plane this is very easy so please make sure that you learn this diagram very well he has classified the venn diagram in five groups that is group 1 this is the group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 and group 5 he has given the five groups now we are going to see the groups first one is alignment group 1 is alignment alignment in this alignment involves symmetry as well as the symmetrical alignment as well as the intra arch alignment here the alignment is whether the ideal alignment is there whether there is a presence of crowding in the dental arch or there is a presence of spacing in the dental arch this was given in the group 1 and in group 2 he has said about the profile he has considered the profile in the group 2 what he has said that whether the face of the person whether the profile of the person is straight convex or concave he has said that whether there is a divergent or divergent that is on the anteriorly divergent is there or the posterior divergent is present he has said about the profile in the second group and in third group he has considered the transfer transverse he has considered the transfer dental as well as skeletal problems which was not discussed in the angle class classification of malocclusion he has said about the buccal as well as palatal malocclusion and whether the malocclusion is unilateral or the bilateral he has said in the third group the differentiation of skeletal and dental malocclusion was made buccal as well as palatal was made and unilateral and bilateral was made in the third group and in fourth group he has given the classes he has classified the classes that to in the sagittal plane in the sagittal relationship the angle class 1 and class 2 and class 3 malocclusion were differentiated between the dental and the skeletal way the class 1 he has said the class 1 and class 2 is having two types division 1 division 2 and in class 3 he has said the he had given the class 3 1 2 3 
in two division one and division two, and he has given the dental as well as the skeletal classification in the group four. Fifth type, he has said about the vertical planes. In third one, transverse sagittal. Then it comes a vertical plane. In vertical plane, he has said whether the bite whether the bite is deep bite that is also incomplete or complete whether bite is open bite that is anterior open bite is present or the posterior open bite is present whether the bite has collapsed and whether the problem is related to skeletal or the dental problems so this five types he has given in the venn diagram and further the venn diagram five after five the sixth one venn diagram is considered the sixth one is here present transsagittal that is present between the transverse as well as the sagittal plane when they both meet there occur a transsagittal when the transverse and the vertical meets there occur a vertical trans that is this one is the eighth one after sixth there this is the seventh you are going to see like this 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 7 8 9 the circle the rotation is going like this clockwise manner the rotation is going like this in the clockman clockwise manner it is completing in the fifth part and then again it is starting from the up here and it is completing at the center did you got that what i am saying sagittal and the vertical when the sagittal and vertical plane meet there occur a seventh one sagitto vertical when the these both comes vertical as well as transverse there comes a eighth one vertical transverse and the ninth one ninth one is related to all the three transverse sagittal vertical there will be occurrence of transverse sagittal vertical plane the trick which you are going to learn here is the rotation is occurring from first second third fourth fifth like this from here you are going to start and it will going to end up here in the fifth part and then the rotation will start from sixth seventh eighth ninth like this and it will going to end in the middle so these if you are going to make a circle this comes under one circle and this alignment is out of the circle that means the three circles are present and the whole circle are present in this circle the whole bigger one there comes a second profile and the first profile which we are going to which will be present this this first profile will be present outside the circle this is the alignment alignment will going to present outside the circle as you can see in the picture i am showing you here like this so this is the instrument or you can say the instrument here designed by acumens and profit so that to differentiate between the many of the problems which are occurring in the angles classification or the limitations which were present in the angle navigation to overcome this the venn diagram they have made the venn diagram like this so that it makes you easy to understand if you like the video please subscribe hit the bell icon for the latest upcoming videos share to your friends and batchmates so everyone should get a trick to learn the chapters or the topics in a very easy manner